Oh, let me just get that for you. Ah, there we go. That's better. So guys, went out for a run today, and uh, that's how I started my day. Wanted to get some cardio in, and it was a nice day. So why not? Tucking into my first meal of the day. Oh shit, it's melting. Which is a bowl of porridge, mixed it up with some Greek yogurt, some granola, and a bit of chocolate to indulge. Taste test. That shit is good. I'll put the macros on the screen for you guys. Bit of a bigger meal, this one. I finished the bowl of cereal. I ran 600 calories off this morning, guys. I think I deserve to eat my breakfast. I know I shouldn't, but I really, really like these energy drinks. I try not to have them that often, maybe once a week, but I really need it right now. A train that runs around, right around the back of my house and it makes it impossible to record a video in the garden because it always comes by and makes the loudest freaking sound anyway moving on to what i really wanted to talk to you guys about which was what's it like being bald well it's just not that different nope not that different. I mean, at first, yes, I was like a celebrity at work. Like, people were like peering over the desk. Oh my god, oh my god, what's he done? What's he done? Why is his hair so short on the sides? Yeah, I did the whole, I'm gonna wear a hat and then the big reveal thing. It's like, at the beginning, like I said, you get a lot of attention. People are like, whoa, what the hell? Why did you do that? Blah, blah, blah. But once I actually told people why I actually did it, a lot of people just accept it. And that's kind of what I needed to do. Just needed to accept it. So there was this class at work the other day, a training, right? I did a, a training class at work and it was like your mindset and it spoke about things that are outside of your control. The example that the guy gave was that he was late for work because there was really bad traffic. And that's just something that's out of his control. Why let that affect you? Why sit there and think, geez, I'm gonna be late. Oh, this damn train wasn't there, God damn it. Just get really angry and frustrated and flustered when you can't change the fact that you're in traffic can you freaking lift up your car and go ahead of the traffic no like it's out of your control tough shit that's kind of how i viewed my hair situation like i'm boarding what can i really do about it just, just what like take hairs off my legs and just like put it on top cover it up which is what i was doing before no like i just need to accept it and i think I tried lots of different solutions. I tried the whole, there was this like topic, um, it's called topic and you put it on your hair, it's like hair fibers to so, like darken it. You basically put them on your hair and it just volumizes it, makes it look like you haven't really experienced any hair loss anyway, it fills in the gaps. And then I had the, obviously the hair system um, on top of my head, which was just covering it up with glue. The only solution I didn't really try was just accepting it. It was the best one. And of course you're, you're gonna get the jokes right. Like, that's what everyone's worried about. Oh, Dom, you don't need no keys anymore, do you? And I'm like, why? Because you ain't got no locks. Ha! <laughs> yeah, look, it, it's funny. Like, there's loads of jokes. Ha ha ha. It's just all part of the experience. You just embrace it. It hardens, it thickens your skin. Um, and to be fair, I can take banter. That's that's like all it is. It's, it's a joke. People laugh. And then you move on. That's it. Everyone has their own issues, right? People have their problems. The thing that I think most people are scared about if they're balding is that there's like a perfect society that's built on social media. If you look at Instagram, no one's gonna post a picture of a scar they have or some skin that's like a different color or, do you know what I mean? They hide all their imperfections. There's this perfect world that's created on social media. So balding and losing your hair is like, oh my God, like, oh Jesus. That's what worried me. I was like, oh, how are people gonna view me? But really, doesn't matter. I'm still me and in fact I feel better like I felt like I was sort of changing because all I was doing was worrying Oh, can people can people tell it's fake? Can people see that? Like oh my god oh, I can't even go on this ride without worrying if it's gonna freaking fly off. I'm free now Like I can just be myself again, and I just feel so much better You know if you constantly have that you know that Debbie Downer in your life That's like oh my god, man. I don't know how you walk around like that. Oh I don't know man, that's just, that's not you, like, that's not good. Constantly just spitting out negativity in your life, then guess what you can do? It's, it's amazing, life changing. You can just cut them off, just get rid of them. You don't need them in 
your life if they are just causing problems it just you know unfollow them on all social media just delete their number hey how about blocking them on whatsapp just remove them from your life because the truth is the people that do care they're not gonna say anything they still see you for you people that do care they're gonna keep the spitting negativity at you and what's the point in keeping them in your life if they don't bring you any positive effects you don't need a huge circle of friends if those people, well, friends, right, friends, if those people are just constantly negative, just get rid of them. Keep your true ones close, keep your circle close and look after those people because they're the ones that matter. So before we can head to the gym guys, I need to quickly change my bed sheets. Once that's done, we can go smash a back and biceps workout. Okay, let's get this done. And the bed is now done so we can go get our sweat on in the gym. Come with me guys. Now, you may be wondering why I am sat outside my house. While I was filming the whole opening the door, I stepped outside and decided to shut the door. And then I looked down and was like, oh, yeah. I just called mum and she is 10, 15 minutes away. I just gotta sit here. Dom, you are smart. Just for reference, the time now is 1.29. So we'll see if mum sticks to her promise of being 10 to 15 minutes. But I guess while we wait, we may as well make use of our time and play some Clash of Clans. Oh, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. <gasps> Valkyrie go. Valkyrie go. Quick, quick, quick. Valkyrie go. Valkyrie go. Valkyrie go. Valkyrie go. I've got to win that. Boom. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's just troll him. Yeah. <laughs> Time now is 36 minutes past and mum's already arrived. My saviors have arrived. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, asshole. So what does that mean? Okay, so luckily mum actually had the back door key on her set of keys. So we couldn't get in through the front door, but instead I had to climb up this wall. I got on top of that wall jumped onto our roof at the top there, lowered myself down, dropped down there, my mum chucked the keys over, and I was able to let us in through the back door. <sighs> Dom, why? Why me? Anyway, let's uh, push on. Finally arrived at the gym, so I'm gonna smash my back and biceps workout. I'm following a routine at the moment. It's a push-pull leg split. It's actually a rest day today, but I missed some earlier sessions in the week, so I'm catching up. First exercise is gonna be the uh, barbell row. This one you can either do uh, overhand grip or underhand grip. We're gonna go for four working sets, one warm-up set. When you lift up the bar, you want to make sure that you are deadlifting it off the ground so that you're not bending over and picking it up because you can really damage your back. Um, probably not at low weights like this, but you know, just good practice to get into the, uh, you know, just get into good practice, don't want to hurt your back, alright? You'll thank me later. Last view you're going to get of this exercise is going to do it from the front. 
Uh, one thing I didn't do in the last couple of sets uh, was hold it at the top just for a second, just a quick pause, then slowly control it on the way down. You'll feel it a lot more. Otherwise, four to six reps is too easy. So you definitely want to have a controlled movement the whole way. Next exercise is going to be the lat pull down. I've got a slight different variation on this that I got from uh, this guy called Phase Sensor on YouTube. He goes for repetitions as opposed to strength. So I'm going to be doing lighter weight but doing a lot more volume. Next exercise is it's a dumbbell row, single arm. So you alternate between the two arms. Um, so one set's completed when you've done both arms, obviously. I don't want no wonky looking muscles. Basically on this one, you wanna, well, you'll see. Sometimes you have to get a little creative. So I put this bench up against this machine, which is originally a chest press, and you push out this way. So all I'm gonna do is sit facing it and pull it backwards so I can do a, a row. This is the seated variant as opposed to the bent over variant, which I showed you right at the beginning. Size is a concentration curl and we're gonna go uh, and keep our grip with the pinky twisted out. So we've come to that point at the end of the workout where I'm just going to go smash out some cardio. So, yeah. Up check. Yep. Still not there. Nip slip. Okay, this is getting weird.
Let's go. So this is how I'm going to end my night. I need to now edit everything that I've recorded and then upload my latest vlog. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, drop me some feedback. I will definitely look into it and interact with you guys. But for now, catch you later. Peace!